today on Divorce Court. I'm here because I don't know if I married Jarek Pierce or a Jay Rizzle. I love my husband, but I don't trust him. He cheats with other women, but he's stingy with sex. With me, his wife? I run the house. I'm the breadwinner. I bring in the money. I pay the bills. I make the rules. If Jarek doesn't change, I'm leaving. He says he doesn't believe in divorce, but he'll be in a marriage all by himself because I'm leaving. Divorce Court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Portia Willingham and Jarek Pierce. The two of you have been together for 10 months, married for four, in trouble already. Uh, you don't have any children together, and but you have three, possibly four children with other women, and we, which is part of the problem, I do believe. Ms. Willingham, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me what's going on and why we're in divorce court today? My husband and I are here because we both have trust issues. Okay. Clearly, he doesn't trust himself. That's why he doesn't trust me. What I mean by that is he's willing to do whatever he wants to do outside of the home. That's why he has three children and a possible four. four. That's, not, that's not true, Your Honor. Well, hang on, I'm gonna get to you. Do you still and believe he's traveling? Uh, even though he's married, or are all those children before you, or do you think he's still cheating on you? All of the children are before me, but none of... Well, the last one was not mentioned until after the baby was born, and that mm -hmm. was recently, right. this year. The this... baby probably is no more than maybe four or five months. Do you think he's cheating on you? Um, I actually know he's cheating on me. And tell, tell me how you know that. Um, from messages that I receive, I've encountered... Uh, conversations with other women, um, messages that Do you he have the messages? To. Yes, I do have them. I would love to see them. The messages... Do you know what we're talking about, Mr. Mr. Pierce? Uh, I'm almost aware of what she's talking yes. about. I'll, I'll, I'll let you see them after I look at them. So, make sure we, you know, she didn't make anything up. Now, this one... Oh. I was trying to see if you still need some of this Nine and a half. Oh. That message was from him to? To whoever that number is that's above the message. How did you get it? This particular night, a young lady kept calling the phone multiple times. Um, the phone wasn't answered. So she sent a message, night, night, love bug. I guess she thought he was asleep. So I politely replied, if you're not a relative, and if it's not an emergency, please don't call my husband at this hour. That's not how she got it, Your Honor. That's not how she got the... You uh, the say message. that, but... Did you send it? Uh, yes, Your Honor. But and that's you not sent how she it two it. days ago. That's so you she... are cheating on her? Uh, no. Not, not the, not Ooh, the lies. Uh, lies. But, Your Honor, she you used... You're trying to cheat on her. You're trying. Uh, well, she used my finger while I was sleeping, my thumb, to get into my phone because she doesn't know my code. So she used my thumbprint while I was asleep. She used to grab my hand. Well, good for her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Little ingenuity. I appreciate that kind of thing. <laughs> We've got more here. Let me see. Now, what is this? These are messages between you and the young lady. And the other woman. That was the lady that was calling multiple times. Yeah. She's secretive as well, Your Honor. No, whoa, 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 hang on. Now, these are two different women. That's not the same This lady. is another woman, is a, and she says one. to you, I see he got trained well, but you were calling me, so that means the joke is on you, dumb. Yeah. Guess I'm gonna steal him. Right. Aww. Oh, my God. So if you allow them to disrespect me and allow them to disrespect home, but because you're doing it, they're gonna do it. Yeah, show, them, show them that stuff. What are you doing? What's that all about? What's that all about? Um, I guess it's, it's piggybacking up off her, her secretive. She's so secretive, and uh, she doesn't be honest with me at all. She's not honest. So this uh, is payback. You're sleeping with other women to pay back, pay her back for being secretive. Well, no, it's, it's, it started with her Facebook. And Facebook, you know, she has a lot of guy friends on there. She goes back and forth, and I want to go and shut her Facebook down because of her ex-boyfriend that she was constantly communicating with through Facebook. You're but don't you think that's a little hypocritical? When you're sleeping with other women, you don't want her to Facebook people? 
Well, I'm the head of house. Uh, You're out of math. Hang, no, hang on. You know, I, I, I want you to answer that question. Well, I think I make the rules because I'm the head of the house. So, uh, how can you be the head of the house if you're not uh, a faithful husband? I don't understand why she's... There's rules to that head of the house business. I mean, if you go in biblically, I'll tear you up with that. Ooh, take it. Let's take it to the Bible, please. You, you know what I'm saying? You got to love your wife. You've got to honor her. That means you can't cheat on her. So you can't claim rights when you ain't taking care of your responsibilities. So stop that. Get off of it. You're bringing drama into her life. The side chick is calling your wife. You're making her insecure. She is burdening your wife because you don't have enough sense to stay at home. But my wife is putting herself into the side chick shoes herself as well. Who is she a side chick to? Clearly him. Uh, I guess clearly her boyfriend I'm... from Facebook. Clearly, I'm the what side chick. What does she say on Facebook that makes you uh, believe she has a boyfriend? Well, she's, she's talking with this guy uh, back and forth. Uh, she, she tells me that he's, he's her previous boyfriend. Uh, she texts on the phone and hides. She, she took Facebook app off her phone, mm -hmm. okay? And she keeps everything on the jump drive, mm -hmm. okay? And there's no way for me to really dissect if mm -hmm. she's... I don't have any proof that if she's cheating because mm -hmm. she hides everything. She doesn't okay. communicate. Okay, so you think because she might be cheating, you might as well go ahead and cheat anyway? Well, I... Is it, I mean, is that your reasoning? I'm, try, uh, I'm, I'm trying to make some logic out of this. Um... Your Honor, can friend, I say this? Friends, friends, my, I have, I have oh, friends that told me that, uh, friends. that she was, uh, you know... I or, don't believe a word uh, you say. Now, I, you know, because you have other children with other women, I understand that there are difficulties in, in, in your marriage because of the mothers of the other children. Is that true? Most of the case, that is true, because I haven't met but one, and that was in a, a situation that... I don't think yeah. it's time for her to meet any, any of them, really. I mean, we have been you married, married that long. I'm your I mean, wife. We've only been married a short period of time. Well, I wouldn't say it's not time for me to meet any of you marry me, clearly. I, no, I, no, I was... let, 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 let me say this. We need to talk about that, because... They're a part of your life, so that makes them a part of her life. Exactly. So there has to be a means by which you can conduct business in a meaningful way that doesn't make her crazy. But it's, it's too early. I mean, we've only been married four months. And I can't just introduce her to all my baby mamas because, you know, they, they wouldn't understand. They wouldn't take it so lightly. He goes she, into it's, the it's room. Oh, you're confused. I think and we let need me, more time. You're confused, and let me tell you why. I say things to my baby mamas and the way that I talk to them, I don't want her to hear it. The way I talk to my baby mamas and the way I get them in order, uh, exactly the way I'm trying <laughs> get to get them my in wife. Order. Uh, uh, you but, trying to get her in order? Yes, ma'am. How is she out of order? And uh, what are you trying to, what are you, what are you doing to get her back in order? What is it that's going on with the baby's mothers that is bothersome to you? Everything is so secretive. If he's on the phone with them, he goes into another room. And I asked one particular occasion, why do you have to go into another room? You know, I should be able to listen or sit there because I'm obligated to those children just as well as you are. I'm not that type of person that no, wouldn't care for your children I will get to you. because they're with someone else. And he said, I don't want you to hear things um, that might upset you. Like what? Mr. Pierce, if you're conducting conversations with your baby's mothers that are appropriate, why can't Mrs. Willingham stay in the room? Well, because uh, I, I don't have a great relationship with my baby mamas, and we... It, it takes time. I mean, I, I say things to my baby mamas, and the way that I talk to them, I don't want her to hear, you know, that. You know, I, I don't think... You know, well, she's, you, she's... Well, you, you come crooked with him? Or you, yeah, because you, he said he can well, be well, back yeah, with them. I'm, I'm yelling and saying the normal thing, you know. Uh... No, he said he can be back with them. That's why. Well, I mean, that's part of an argument. But, I, I mean, we argue. I say things that I don't want to hear, you know, the way I talk to my baby mamas and the way I get them in order, uh, exactly the way I'm trying <laughs> get to get them my in wife. Order. Uh, uh, you but... trying to get her in order? Yes, ma'am. What, 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 how is she out of order? And uh, what are you trying to, what are you, what are you doing to get her back in order? Uh, 
she's secretive and she she doesn't communicate with me. Uh, if we're talking in conversation, uh, she, she cuts it off and says, "Well, well, hey, I'm, you know, never mind." She, she she's, I have to uh, communicate she, she's with him. ghetto. We have she, tracking she's devices on each ghetto. on our phones. You have what? Tracking devices. We have an the app. tracking devices were that we, we got those for safety reasons. The tracking devices for, for, for safety reasons when we first met. She she introduced me to it, and then it it, it, it came into a, a actual tracking device. And, a tracking you know, location. You're here. You're there. It says you're here. It says you're there. And now it's like if I take it off my phone, which she keeps her, lo her location turned off. But if I turn off my location, the moment I turn it off, I'm getting a phone you, call. You're getting a phone call. Phone yes, sir. yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Yes, but it's for safety. Remember, you're not on the bike all the time. But your your location is never on. You keep your location turned off. So you well, say she's, she's secret. Hang on, Ms. Wing. You say that even though he's he's sharing his body with others, he will not do so in a meaningful fashion with you. She Sexually. does not. Explain and, that to me. And that's so weird to me because you have multiple women. There's infidelity, clearly, yes. it shows. And I have to beg you to have sex. Like, I don't... He says you have a high sex drive. She, she does. I mean, she doesn't have to beg me to have sex. It's I mean, not high enough that she's still is, out. Sex is, sex, I think sex is normal. And if For you do who? it one I'm time, man, it. it's, 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 it's okay <laughs> after you do it one time, you know... Uh, it's okay to grab the remote, you know, fix you something to eat, go ride the motorcycle. That's just what I like doing. Go I don't want to sit up and have sex all night. You know, you know, and it, and it carry on. If you, her mom caught us one time <laughs> because it took her so long. You know what I mean? And then... So, she, you want to satisfy yourself and to heck with her. You know, you're quick, done, well, 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 and you want to well, take up the remote. Well, and watch well, TV. That's well, what you just told well, me. She just, right, she, I mean, she, she tends to want to finish in the car, like the time her mom caught us. She wanted to finish in the car. Wow, well, I'm you spontaneous. Know? Okay. I try to That's not spontaneous to me. Clearly, That's clearly, because... Uh, uh, yeah, the, yeah, she's uh, doing it with someone else. Uh, if she's doing it with me. No, there's no evidence of that. That's just absurd. You, you know, you're the cheater. We got that part. Here we go. I'm, we're going to move on because there is an issue with respect to the fourth baby that you have. With, with another woman. I hope he's mine. You hope he's mine, but you don't know. So, well, we, we're, we're gonna resolve that. You're 10 months in. The only thing worse than you being 10 months in is for you to be 11 months in. This man <laughs> is morally bereft. The excuses he has to behave as he does are ludicrous. Do you believe Portia's sexual demands on Jarek are unrealistic? Tell us what you think at facebook.com slash divorce court. Divorce Court will be right back. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Divorce Court. Mr. Pierce, you want that baby to be yours, don't yeah. you? Yes, man. I, I bonded with him, uh, Judge. Yeah. Uh, the day when he was when he was born, I was at the hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't sign the birth certificate. I, I knew not to sign that, but I figured he was mine. <laughs> not to uh, sign that. <laughs> I, I wanted to be sure before I signed, but I, he has my. He, I gave him my middle name, and I, you know, was, I have three girls already, and this and, would be and my this first. And this was the first son. boy. And, yes, ma'am. It was like it was like a golden child. Yeah. Well, you you brought pictures of him. Yes, ma'am. Oh. He's adorable, absolutely adorable. Why don't you think it's his, or you just, you just hoping it's not? <laughs> I, I would actually be obligated to take care of this child as well because mm -hmm. we're together. Right. And he has a gap in his It's financial like responsibilities for the other ones that we have not taken care of. So this is adding on to the. Do list. you help him with his children, taking care of them? Do they come over and? Um, his youngest daughter. I met her. She's my sweetheart. Um, I bonded with her. Well. She doesn't need to help with my children right now, because I, I don't We're have a married. good relationship with the. Let, let me say this to you: If you have children and you spend time with them, it's wonderful if your wife also treats them like a, uh, they're her child, because <laughs> nobody can get too much love. Like the kids can't get too much love, and if she does, she want you don't want her to treat them like strangers. You want her to to love on them like you do. I think like it's just too do. early. And right Anna, now. I don't have it's any not too kids. early. You married her. Your Honor, I don't have any She's your wife. Really. I know. And the DNA says that you are not, in fact, yes. that... Are you serious? You are not. 
I will let you see it. You are not that fa okay. the father to that baby. Uh, is there any way I can have my name back from, from, from this child? No. I mean, the, you, you have no legal uh, rights with respect to that. Uh, I, I bonded with this child and I spent money uh, on this child, bought him clothes <laughs> when he was born. Uh, I was there at the hospital, days at the hospital, took time off work. Do you feel work. betrayed? Yes, I do. I feel very now, betrayed. Now, imagine how yeah. betrayed she feels. I mean... <laughs> you have no sympathy or empathy for others, uh, but you're like, oh, you've been hurt because this baby is not yours. It's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? You need to have some empathy for her. Do you know how much it hurts to hear from the side chicks? Do you know how much it hurts to see those messages? Do you want some of my you know what? Do you know how hurtful that is? Do you see, feel the pain that you're feeling now? You feel it? That's how she feels. You have to have empathy for others. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, a little bit, Yon. It's, it's just that, uh, I mean, I, I feel that, you know, I'm still the man, and I, I, I run our house, and, uh, you know, we're you gonna really march don't by run our house. But, but I don't understand. You say you're the man, you run your house, you will march by your orders. Does that mean when you married her, you told her that you were gonna have sex with as many women as you want, but she had to be faithful? I don't understand what you mean by I run the house. We're talking about you cheating. Uh, well, she being secretive, I, you know, if I, if I cheated, okay, I think we, that's yeah, grounds for we've been for down it. that road before. I think that's grounds for it. Oh, okay. I have something I want to say to you. Should Portia remain committed to her four-month marriage with Jarek? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. You're 10 months in. The only thing worse than you being 10 months in is for you to be 11 months in. This man is morally bereft. He doesn't care about you. He doesn't, he doesn't do right by you. He wants to control you. He wants you to do whatever you're doing for him in the household, and he's gonna run around on you like he's single. He's not the man of the house because he doesn't defend his house. He doesn't defend his woman and he doesn't take care of you. He has no empathy for you. And the excuses he has to behave as he does are ludicrous. Absolutely and positively ludicrous. He doesn't even want to do better. He's not even here pretending that he can do better. He's saying, I'm the man of the house and what I do goes. You can do better than that. <laughs> You're young, you're beautiful, you don't have any children. People don't change. Please, move on. March, I mean, run. <laughs> Grow a conscience, Mr. Pierce. Get past yourself. Be empathetic with other people. Understand and feel what other people feel and stop thinking about yourself because I'm a man, I can do as I please and treat women any old way. I make the money. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. No morals. No conscience. Soulless over there. I make the money because I do as I please. Run. This matter is a giant. I, I understand what the judge was saying. Um, I don't, I don't appreciate it. I think my wife is still gonna be with me because I'm her financial backing. Uh, and with the child not being mine, uh, I'm, I'm kinda hurt with that, but I learned to live with it. The judge told me to run out of this marriage and I've learned that people are not gonna change. So he can have whoever he wants, but I'm done.